made some meatballs tonight and with that I'm having an Italian wine so I looked in the wine fridges for something a little different I was gonna go for a Brunello but then I stumbled across this so this is a Alianico del Volture a Reserva 2007 so definitely ready to drink at least I think it's ready to drink uh, volcanic soil from the Basilicata region down in southern Italy way down here and that's where they make the Alianico grape and I think one of the best expressions is from Del Volture at least that's sort of what I remember reading about uh, Reserva, I just assume this probably has some little extra aging, either in barrel or bottle. So I don't know a whole heck of a lot about it. Uh, got it from J.J. Buckley, don't know how long ago. Don't even remember this in a... Uh, I don't even remember this really in even an, an unboxing, so... But let's see. I always say it, but it smells like Italy. Just has that... Italian red wine smell. So it's got, you know, that herbal component, thyme, marjoram, you know, basil. You know, I'm smelling black cherry for sure in here. A lot of black cherry. Herbal and black cherry. A little bit of A little bit of fennel. I bet you that fennel comes out more as this thing opens up. Really, it's still definitely really good. Ooh, it still has tannin in it. That's still pretty tannic. And dry, I know it's a, it's a dry red, but it's even a little drier tasting. Great acidity. It's making my mouth water. This is just a medium plus acidity, medium plus like tannin. Really intense flavor. It tastes a little warm. Alcohol. Don't see it. Oh, 11 to 14 percent some arbitrary number maybe because it was 2007 i think they've had to get a little bit more specific with the alcohol percentages for tariffs and other reasons in recent years but yeah this wine even just still tastes it's got the bricking oh yeah it looks like an old older red but it has some youth to it this, this could still age for sure this has longevity This is delicious. This is delicious. I love it. It's got a little bit of that age character. Still a little youthful. Tons of flavor. I mean, tastes like it smells. A little bit of a dried red fruit. So it's it's less fruity, but more dried red fruits and a lot of herbs. Very minerally, for sure. That is part of that volcanic soil I'm sure it's planted on. This will pair wonderfully with meatballs. Between the acidity, it's medium body, you know, medium body type of wine, but with good tannin. The tannin, a little less tannin now. So, it might just be that first, first attack on the palate game. It was a little tannic, but I think it's more medium tannin and medium plus acid. Extremely aromatic. I mean, extremely aromatic. Even when I opened the bottle and the cork came out, I could, I could just smell the wine just immediately, just right out of it. That's why I just love Italian wines. Italy and France, just two areas of gravity. And there's just so many wines. I'm pretty sure Italy has the most indigenous grapes uh, in the world in one country. And this is wonderful. Wonderful wine. And then, you know, when if, when, when if people had an all Alicle Double Turi? I mean, it's great. Great value, I think. I don't know what I paid for this, but they're not overly expensive if you can find them. Great food wine. So that's what Italy's known for, I think, mostly, is just great food wine. They add a lot of acid. There's a lot of dishes this would stand up to. Italian fare would stand up to.
I like one another one of these. I'm gonna probably message Buckley. Well, JJ Buckley, my the guy that messages or sends me the the deals on a daily basis on the on my list and see what they got. If they have any more of this or this Alianico just in general. Definitely would like to have a few more in the cellar. Because this is drinking extremely well for 2007. You know, it's 14, 14 years. Gosh, this is really good. I mean, this is four and a half out of five easy. I'm almost debating five just for how good it is and how good I think it's going to go with food and just how well it's aged. I don't know anything about the vintage of 2007 Basilicata. If I'm even pronouncing it right. I don't do any normally research, just sort of go with it. Open the wine, check the map. It's sort of been a recent recent thing I've been doing. And just go with it. You know, look at the back of the label. I know Alianico is the grape. I know the region. And that's it. I don't know all the aging rules for Reserva, but this is great. So, one more sip. It's definitely tannin. It's definitely between medium, medium plus and tannin for, for this age. 14 years. That is impressive. That is very, very impressive. It, it, this must be... This, this, the Reserva must mean it's getting some extra it, uh, oak treatment for sure, to have this level of tannin 14 years later. I'm going to give it a 5. I, I, I don't even care. 5 out of 5 on Bovino. I think this is awesome. I think this is what wine should be just should taste like, especially 14 years later. This is probably one of the best. This is probably the best Alianico I've ever had. So, five out of five. Well done. Don't go searching. I don't even know where you'd find it. I've never seen this in my life. I barely remember ordering it. Actually, I don't remember ordering it. So, but hey, if you stumble across an Alicante de Volture, I'm highly recommending it. So, if he says Reserva. So, that's it. Time for dinner. See how this pairs with food. I'm pretty darn sure it's just going to shine. Shine with food. I can't imagine it's going to be anything but so complimentary to meatballs and sauce. Very happy with this. Alright, that's it.